Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hey, welcome. Hey, are you ready for the attendance? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good to see you. Well, good to hear you. Okay, let us start with the attendance. Be ready and say present when you listen to your name, please. I don't know if some of you have troubles, but I see only a few. Adriana Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Present. Excellent. Dora Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Eloisa Abigail. Eloisa, no. Gloria Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Henry Oswaldo. Hello, hello. Hey, good to see you. Well, good to hear you. What happened with your camera? Are you working? Are you arriving? No, no. No. El trabajo. El okay. trabajo. Entonces, okay. Eh. Y Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Humberto. Jose Ángel. Present. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Lorena Araceli. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Excellent. Lourdes Paola. Mario Antonio. Marvin Alberto. Present. Okay. Romeo Antonio. Present. Excellent. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Excellent. Veronica Elizabeth. No. Victor Manuel. Present. Excellent. And Jimena, I oh know, Xiomara Judith. Xiomara. No. Okay. Someone is missing. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Ana Mercedes, Jonathan Ramos, ok, regáleme su nombre completo Jonathan, Jonathan Humberto Ramos Linares, ah yes, here you are, si sí lo mencioné, 
Ah, okay. Jonathan, Jonathan Humberto Ramos. Okay. Who else? Ana Mercedes is not here. Claribel Esmeralda. Eloisa. Lorena Araceli. Lourdes. Mario Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth. Xiomara Judith. No. Okay, so let us start. Okay, my name is Erika Cordova. I will be with you uh, during this module. Okay, welcome. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure okay, to be with you and to help you to learn more English. So be free to ask if you have questions, if you want to participate. Okay, it's good, it's better if you speak, if you practice, if you participate, you are going to learn more. Okay. So let us start with today's class. Only let us make a review about some important points that you have to remember. Okay, so my name, Erika Cordova. Okay, you are in beginners too. You are already in on the WhatsApp group. Yes, ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, I hope. Okay, remember the most important things in order to get your diploma is your attendance and the work on the platform. Y esas serían las cosas más primordiales de las que debe cuidar y que su asistencia no baje del 80% y que también el trabajo en su plataforma se mantenga al día. Eh, creo que el día jueves se está haciendo revisión del trabajo y que también eh, tiene que tener arriba del 80%. Okay, en, en, en los ejercicios que realice. Okay, on the first week, we are going to cover two sections. So we are going to be a little a little bit quickly because you we have only two days for section one and two days for section two. Here okay, sorry, I have troubles with my connection. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, the rules, okay, the rules from the virtual class, remember to remain in mute. And also when you enter, you have to have your, your full name, okay? And you have to turn on your camera, or keep your camera on, mantener su cámara encendida. Also, active participation. Okay, you have to be answering, giving your opinion, and participate. You can also use the chat. Okay, uh, to raise your hand if you want to participate, please use the Zoom hand. Y la manita que tiene Zoom, porque es más fácil la identificación de la persona de la que está hablando. Ok. Ok. 
Okay, se escucha cortado. Yes, I have trouble with my connection. I don't know why. Okay, espero que mejore. Okay, so remember the attendance and the platform also to, to remain in the class for 60 minutes. Okay, you have to be 60 minutes the complete class. Um, so let us start. Okay, do you do you live downtown? Do you live here in San Salvador or do you live outside San Salvador? Do you live downtown? Yes. Or no? Hello? Do you live in San Salvador? Yes. Yes? He San Salvador is considering the downtown of El Salvador because it's the capital. Okay, how many of you live downtown here in San Salvador? Now, are you follow me? Are you with me? Or can you listen? Se me escucha o se me sigue escuchando entrecortado. Sí, se lo estoy escuchando entre cortado. Ok, Víctor. Thank you. The next question. Ok, Henry, you live downtown. Ok, Jonathan. Ok, do you work far from your house? Ok, like far, far away. Do you work far from house? Yes or no? If, for example, if you work far, Mm, you can live in San Salvador, but you can work in Santa Tecla, for example. So that's far because Santa Tecla is an, a different department. Okay, it's a different city. So do you work far from your house? Yes or no? No. Um, no. Okay, yeah. um, Jose Angel yeah. say no. Yeah. No, I live near from my work. Okay, so you live near. How much time do you spend in traffic? 20 minutes, 15 minutes? Uh, 15, no, no. Uh, 10 minutes. 10 because... minutes. Because I ride my motorcycle. Ah, that's why. In motorcycle, everything is faster. <laughs> okay, Jose, thank you. Okay, so Jose Angel spent 10 minutes in traffic. So that's like heaven, right? Okay, what about Victor Manuel? How much time do you spend in traffic from your house to your work? Uh, one hour. One hour. Okay, one hour. In a in a regular day. In a regular day. Yes? Okay. Mm, yes, yes. 
Great. What about Catherine? How much time do you spend in traffic? Catherine Aviles? Thirty minutes, forty minutes. I I have my our business. How business? Uh -huh, your your own business. Uh -huh. so yes, you, yes. Okay, so you work from home. Yes. Okay, excellent. So you you don't have to deal with the traffic. Only sometimes. Yes. Okay. In my case, in a regular day. I spend 45 minutes in traffic, but if it is heavy, if the traffic is heavy, if we have traffic jams, an accident or something like that, it's like one hour or one hour and 10 minutes. Okay, so, but regularly 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Okay, now, how do you commute? How do you commute every day from your house to your work or for another place that you go? How do you commute? In my case, I commute by car. I commute by car. What about you? Yes. Hey, Jose Angel ya nos dijo by motorcycle. He, he uh, ride his motorcycle. What about the rest? Los demás? By bus. Ride your bicycle. Walk. BMW. So you walk. Or by bus. A pura chuña. Okay, and how many time do you spend walking? How much time? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So you work close. You work close from your house, right? Trabaja cerca. Yes. Because 10 sí. minutes walking is close. I think it's close. Yes. Okay. And how often do you take a taxi or an Uber to go um for work or when you go shopping so how often once a week twice a week three days a week once a month solo el día de pago para llegar seguro okay how often how often do you take a, a taxi or an uber Me olvido cómo se decía rara vez. Mm. 
Rarely. Rarely. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. Los demás no quieren hablar. Say, so let's practice the means of transportation. Okay, questions about this part or this one questions uh, in my case uh, when it's raining when it's raining yes correct yes when it's raining you take a taxi or an uber okay great Thank you. Okay, so here we have um, some of the most common means of transportation. Okay, here in El Salvador we have bus, okay, car, obviously, motorcycle, and bicycle. Okay, those are the, the most common or the most used. Okay, you can take a bus, can drive a car, you can ride your motorcycle or ride your bicycle. Okay, but also here in the past, we used to have a train, okay, a train. Then we have a truck. That's not for commute people, but yes, for transport uh, things. Heavy things. And also in El Salvador, we have some ships. The ships are used, for example, to bring cars or to bring um, things for the enterprises, for business, to sell. If, for example, they are coming from United States and, I don't know, other places. Also, we have airplanes here in El Salvador. So you, if you want to go outside the country, you, you can travel by plane or in an airplane. Okay, if you go outside, for example, if you want to visit Mexico, you can travel by plane. If you want to visit Guatemala or Honduras, you can travel by plane. Okay, also in El Salvador, we have helicopters. We have helicopters here. In the past, Independence Day celebration, we see a lot of helicopters on the sky. They were giving a dem demonstration because here in El Salvador, helicopters are used for emergency. And for example, for ambulance, if they need to transport a person who had an accident okay, and he's like a very ill, so they use a helicopter. And also the the army or the 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 forces here in El Salvador, they have helicopters. Okay. And the rocket, it's for travel outside the earth to the to the space. Okay, in the rocket you can travel to the space, but here in El Salvador, we don't have rockets. But we do have sailboat, okay? A sailboat is smaller than a chip, okay? Questions, preguntas de esto? No? No. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's see and take a look of the manual. Okay, here we have transportation in the US, the top eight ways to 
get to work. Okay, drive, walk, like Henry, take the bus, take the subway. Here in El Salvador, we don't have a subway. Take the train, neither a train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi or cab. Okay. Um, well, I hear taxi, cab, or Uber. Uber in drive and the other. Okay, what means of transportation do you use? Motorcycle, car, and bus. Only that. And sometimes when it's raining, an Uber or a taxi. Yes? And let's practice the conversation. Learn. So I would. What are some other kinds of kinds of transport lesson, and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now is your turn to practice. Okay, so may I have some volunteers to practice the conversation? Henry, you are the lucky one. You're going to practice, Henry. Henry and uh, Ana Mercedes. Okay. Hello. You're, okay. Please. Nice car, Jason. He, is it yours? No, it is my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't start near our our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That too bad. Okay, thank you. Two more volunteers, please. Two more. Bueno, democráticamente. Okay, Elizabeth and Jose Angel. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth, get ready. Yes, el el you are going el to be asking. Elizabeth. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? 
Now, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job her in the downtown? No, it's downtown. My son is for downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train. The train is stuck near all house. Today, train the bus is really slow. That's too bad. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions about vocabulary words? Pronunciation? No? No. No. Okay, so we can continue. Okay, we have here um, words related to the family. Okay, for example, we have Paul and Anne. They are husband and wife. They are married. Okay, they are married. Okay, Paul is the father and Anne is the mother. Okay, they are parents of Jason and Emily. Okay, Jason and Emily are brother and sister. And they are um, Paul and Anne children. Okay. So let's complete the sentences about the family. Okay, Anne is uh, and do you remember the use of possessives? When we are going to use them, the apostrophe is. What is the meaning when we are going to use it? What do you remember? Nothing. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? Que están muy calladitos hoy. You have to talk more tomorrow. So, comen sopa de pericos mañana, please. Mi lista solo es hasta aquí. Yes. Rápido fue. Okay, when we are going to use it. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? No es de cuando le pertenece algo a alguien o algo así. Yes, correct. Y okay, aquí, pues, ok, de apóstrofe es, nos indica posesión. So that's a possessive, cuando algo es de alguien. Y en este caso nos indica eh, como una relación. Um, for example, if I say, Anne is Paul's wife. Que Ana es la esposa de Paul. Ok, eso no sería lo que nos indica the apostrophe S. And you have to emphasize when you say it. Y cuando lo decimos, se tiene que escuchar el sonido de la F después del nombre. Okay. Paul's, okay. Anne's, Emily's, Jason's. Okay. You have to say the, the sound at the end. 
Okay, so let's complete the, the sentences. Number two, Jason, okay, sorry. Jason and Emily are their children. Children, correct. Jason and Emily are their children. Paul is Anne's husband. 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 Jason is Anne's. Yes. Brother. Jason is Anne's um, son. Son. Okay. Emily is Paul's daughter. 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 Jason is Emily's. Brother. 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 Brother, correct, brother. And Emily is Jason's? Sister. 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 Okay. Paul and Anne are Jason's? Parents. Parents, Parents. correct, parents. Okay, entonces tenemos aquí some plural forms. Tenemos algunas... Formas en plural. Por ejemplo, tenemos parents, okay, padres, your parents. Okay. También tenemos children. Okay. Y aquí le especifica, por ejemplo, kid or kids is the same as children. Entonces sería, it's the same meaning. Okay. Children and kids. So children is the plural. For example, if I only have one, I will say I have one child or I have a child. But if you have two or more than two, if you have five, if you have nine, if you have the soccer team, so you have children, children. Okay, for example, I have two children um then we have a mother you can say mom or for mom. the little ones you can say mommy okay mother mom or mommy father dad or daddy okay that they they have the same meaning okay so let's make a practice. Okay, let's make a family practice. Okay, for example, Mario Antonio, what are your parents' name? Uh, my father uh, Samuel. My father name is Sonia. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, we can say it in two ways. Or we can answer in two ways. Podemos responder junto o podemos responder separado, como lo hizo Mario. For example, if I, 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 I can say, uh, my, my parents, uh, in este caso, Ya se lo voy a enviar para que lo vean. My parents' names are Hugo and Elsa. Okay, in this case, como parents termina en S, okay, ahí no vamos a repetir la S, sino que vamos a dejar only the apostrophe. Vamos a utilizar solo el apostrofe. No es necesario que pongamos la S Porque de todas maneras no se diferenciaría el sonido de parents. 
O sea, si pongo otra S, es parents. ¿Ok? You cannot say it. It, it, it's, it doesn't sound correct. Entonces, solamente dejamos el apóstrofe. My parents' names are Hugo and Elsa. But if you are going to say it separately, you can say my father's name is, como estamos hablando de singular, Hugo. My mother's name is Elsa. Okay, so you can say it in both ways. And also, then I'm going to ask you about uh, your children. If you have, in the case you have. Okay, let's see. Romeo, what are your parents' names? My parents' names are Evelio and um, Patricia. Patricia, okay. Daniel, what is your mother's name? My mother's name is Maria. Maria, okay. Jonathan, what is your father's name? Uh, Mauricio. But the, the complete sentence? Mm. My father's... My father... Uh, my father's name... Uh, my father's name is uh, Mauricio. Is Mauricio. Is Mauricio. Okay. Um, Ana Mercedes, do you have children? Yes, I have. Okay, I, what? I have, I have two children. Uh, their names are Mateo and Luca. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Ana Mercedes. Okay, let's see, Marvin, what are your parents' names? Marvin, Alberto. Oh, my father's names are Elvira and Lorenzo. Okay, thank you. Who else has children? Porque los veo bien jóvenes. Who else? Jose Angel, do you have children? Yes, I have a child. And her name is Camila. What is uh, his name or her name? And her name is Belen. Okay. Lorena. Okay. Thank you. Great. Okay, so do you have questions about this part of possessives? That's a review, porque esa parte de los possessives ya la habían visto, right? So you have questions? No. No. Okay, so let's continue with the simple present statement. Okay, we have simple present statements. So sentences that are positive, okay, positive. Uh, I walk, okay, I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. 
he works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Muy bien, estamos hablando en simple present. Okay, simple present. In general, when you talk about um, routines, cuando hablamos de algo que hacemos frecuentemente, okay, that you do often, if for example, you go to school five times a week, or, uh, well, you live with your parents, you do it every day. But in general, the rule to use simple present is if you are talking about the time, okay, the present time, but also if you uh, want to say something that you do regularly. Okay, si lo hace regularmente, like three times or four times a week, okay, you have to use simple present. Y luego tenemos the negative, the negative form, okay, donde vamos a eh, agregar el auxiliar don't or doesn't. Y okay, sabemos que para la tercera persona del singular, the third person singular, he, she, and it, que no está acá, okay, we're going to use doesn't, doesn't. Eso sería para la forma negativa. Okay, he doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. Okay, utilizamos este eh, auxiliar en negativo. Y para los demás eh, pronombres, I, you, we, they, we are going to use don't, okay, don't. I don't live far from here. We don't live alone. You don't live near here. They don't need a car. Y luego um, va siempre la, la misma, el mismo orden, ¿verdad? Iniciamos con, con el pronoun or the subject. Luego iríamos con el auxiliar, si lo vamos a convertir en negativo. And then you are going to write the verb. Okay, the verb. Y el verbo, como pueden verlo, okay, it's in infinitive. Okay, vamos a trabajar, because we are in simple present, vamos a utilizar nuestros verbos en infinitivo. Okay, questions about this? No. No, okay. No. So I can make questions. Puedo hacer las preguntas and it will be right. It would be good. Muy bien. Aquí está cuando vamos a utilizar el simple present. Dice que to describe habits, que okay, lo que le decía, algo que se hace regularmente, habits. To describe facts, que okay, facts serían eh, cosas que ya están científicamente comprobadas. That's a fact. For example, during the day, it... Uh, During the day, the sun rises. Okay, that's a fact. If the water wets, okay, that's a fact. Algo que está comprobado y que por lo tanto no va a cambiar. Porque ya está comprobado que pasa de esa manera. That's a fact. Y también dice on changing situations. Que cosas que no van a cambiar. For example, if you are a mother, 
Okay, that's an unchanging situation. Once you you began or you become a mother, you will be a mother for the rest of your life. Okay, that's an unchanging situation. Algo que no va a cambiar, que va a permanecer así. Y tenemos algunas sign out words que nos van a ayudar a identificar el simple present tense. Entonces, esas las vamos a incluir por lo general en el complemento de la oración. Y nos van como a marcar el tiempo que estamos utilizando. Como every day. I wash my hands every day. Often, always, sometimes, and never. ¿Ok? Cuando veamos estas palabras en una oración, entonces sabemos que esta debe de estar en simple present. Y ahí tenemos cómo serían las oraciones o the positive statements. Iniciamos con el sujeto, then the verb, then we're going to make a, a change para el caso de he, she, and it, and then we're going to write the complement. Okay, Esa sería para las positive statements. Y para los negative, okay, sería siempre subject y los auxiliares que habíamos visto, ya sea en forma larga o forma contractada. Que okay, I do not live downtown. Or um, she doesn't or does not live downtown ok entonces agregamos el auxiliar agregamos la palabra not luego seguimos con nuestro verbo en infinitivo y el complemento recuerda que en el complemento podemos agregar one of these sign out words ok questions no no ok So let's do some examples. Hagamos algunos ejemplos. Okay, write a positive and a negative statement using simple present. Okay, me van a escribir una oración en positivo y otra en negativo usando presente simple. On the chat, ahí aquí en el chat de Zoom. Okay, hurry up. Think in two sentences. One in positive and one in negative. Type in this chat and I will check. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. We only have four minutes. I am studying English. I run always in the cafe talon. Okay, in este caso, Lorena, podemos el always, always and sometimes. I think are the ones that you can move. Eso los podemos mover en la oración. You can say, I always run in the cafe talon. Okay? Or you can say, I run in the In the cafetalón, always. Okay. Ay, ok, dijimos que las palabras marcadoras las íbamos a dejar al inicio, al inicio, al, al final. I cook. My lunch 
every day. Okay, I cook my lunch every day. Yes, that's correct. You are not playing video games. Okay, en e, tengo dos oraciones en las que han utilizado verb to be, el verbo to be. Que recuerde que para este tipo de oraciones no íbamos a utilizar el verb to be. Okay, si quieren, veamos nuevamente. Mire, vamos con pronombre, verbo directamente. Pronombre, verbo. Y luego el lugar. The place. Entonces, esa es la que, la, la que tienen que seguir. Esa es la estructura, porque algunos me están utilizando verb to be. Y ese todavía no lo estamos viendo, porque ese es otro tiempo. Puede ser en positivo o en negativo. Siempre empezando con el subject. Luego que iría eh, the auxiliary. And at the end, the verb. The verb and the complement. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos. I'm studying English. I every day cook my lunch. Este ya lo habíamos arreglado, ¿verdad? I cook my lunch every day. You are not play video game. No hay que mezclar verb to be. I don't have a car. Ok, muy bien. Y eso es algo que, que no va a cambiar de momento, ¿verdad? Esperamos que después que ya aprenda inglés, sí, ¿verdad? You will have a car, foot. Y then, I work near my house. Excellent, Ana. I run always in the cafetalón. I always run, o I run in the cafetalón always. Ahí está mal ubicado el always. I am, aquí me están usando verb to be. I, aquí sí puede ser, I always play video games. Or I play video games always. Um, Susana walks to work. I don't take a bus to work. Excellent. Good sentences, Jose Angel. He drives downtown. He doesn't drive. Okay. I don't work near my house. Neither I am. Okay. You call here every day. I do not eat a lot of fruit. Ah, ese sería otro. You call here every day. Mm, okay. She is dances. Ok, vamos a quitar verb to be, Adriana. He not study English. Ok, so that's I don't drink never cold, cold coffee. I don't drink mm, I en este caso no necesitamos el don't porque está utilizando never. Entonces podemos sustituirlo. I never drink coffee. Okay, that sounds better. Como menos trabajo. And she doesn't run every day. Okay, that's great. He lives in Usulután and she plays basketball. Excellent, great. Okay, good ideas, good ideas. Muy bien, solo déjenme revisar la asistencia and then you can go. Questions? Hay que practicar un poquito más. But do you have questions about it? Simple present. No? No questions. That's great. Excellent. Muy bien, veamos. Ana Mercedes. Present. Present. Ok. 
Claribel Esmeralda. Eloísa Abigail. ¿No? Presente. Ok. Lo sí, sí, en el chat tuyo que está presente. Ah, thank you. Ah, Claribel. Yes, thank you. Lorena Araceli. Lourdes Paola. Mario Antonio. Present. Ok. Verónica Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Ok. Um, Víctor Manuel. No, él sí. Ya, yeah, ya lo había tomado. En Xiomara Judith. Xiomara, no. Ok, so that's all for today. Thank you for your patience. And I hope to see you tomorrow, everyone. Ok. Good Remember night, teacher. Bye -bye. Work on the platform. Ok, good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.